Hey, my Kydex peeps, it's Tony with Alameda Ulcers. No, I'm not sewing dresses as some of my subscribers think that I uh, do. Faf 130 out, um, so I can make some chest harnesses. This seems to be the hottest thing now, guys, is a chest harness. But I wanted to show you something that one of my subscriber subscribers came out with that could avoid you guys from having to do any kind of sewing if you're going to make some chest rigs. So let's see, let me get this camera set up. Okay, the buckles, the sliders, all that stuff guys, you can get on Amazon. And um, I'll show you what I did. Okay, holster. And it doesn't have to be specific to a chest harness, guys. You can sell an outside the waistband holster and offer your customer a chance to bolt it to his chest rig. Then when he's done, he can bolt it back up with loops and um, where it is outside the waistband. But here are my chest harnesses right here. And this comes over the shoulder, okay, right or left shoulder. And this one actually will bolt up right here, okay. This one comes around and bolts up right here, okay. The third one comes around and bolts up right here. So any type of hole position you're running is gonna be fine. So with that being said, what I do is once I figured out what holster they're using, I'll come in, put a hole in the nylon, and then I'll actually put a, an eyelet there, and that'll kind of give it an option to swivel. You can get away from using the buckle with nylon. You can actually come in with Kydex, piece of two inch, or uh, just slightly less than two inch, fold it over, shape it into a V, punch two eyelet holes in there, and now you've got a Kydex uh, type of connector right here, wherever you need this. Um, when you sew, I'm only using two buckles and two sliders, so I'm saving on that. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And I kind of have on this one my markings to kind of see where my holes are gonna be. So now for my subscriber and his idea, and I don't know if these are patent pending or what guys, but backers, okay? You eliminate the need to sew, and what you do is your webbing will come like this, okay? Like this, okay? Buckle to the front, okay? Just like this. This one will come back around, this will be your attach point here, on the lower part, right here. Okay, now, this one comes just like this, fold it, go over, and this is what comes across and bolts up here. So, this is what they look like. They're nice, the only downside to using a backer is now you've gotta use three buckles. So you've got one, two, then three. I'm sorry, one, two, three. So that's the only downside to using um, the backers versus sewing. So if you're in a hurry and you've got to knock out a chest rig or something, this might be, and you don't, you don't sew, um, I would advise you to learn how to sew, guys, because it could come in handy later on to make any kind of nylon gear, uh, something you know, weird. Uh, I've had to make ankle tourniquet um, holsters out of nylon, which bolt, which these guys use around their ankle. I think I've, yes, this is a prototype. This is an ankle and not this, but this, hold a tourniquet. And you're, you're asking, okay, why would somebody be wanting to wear a tourniquet 
concealed, kind of like a uh, ankle holster. But the reason is this customer needed three for church security. So the church security team was running three tourniquets, which is pretty smart, but you don't have this this tourniquet freaking people out when they're going to church because it's out of sight. But if they need it, pop, pull up the pants, pull the tourniquet, and good to go. So, you know, this was made with uh, some expandable type of material. And, um, but yeah. So, you know, learn to sew if you can. Buy a cheaper machine. Don't go drop 1500 bucks on a big machine. Um, especially when you're trying out the, the FAF 130. I paid about two, 200, I think, for it. Um, and then, of course, thread and, you know, research the thread. Don't go cheap on anything and um, get it done. That's all I got, guys. Good luck with your projects. Don't burn yourself. And today I'm shooting blanks. That's what she said. <laughs>